What's going on guys? Chaos here. I bring you guys another video. I know it's been a few days since I've dropped one. Guys, just bear with me. I've been going crazy out of town. I got a lot of different things going. Business trips. I got vacations. You know, got to keep the girl happy, all that. Got a lot of things going on, so just bear with me. I'm gonna, it's going to be a few days between each video. It's not going to be as consistent as I usually am at the beginning of the year, as well as going into Madden 20. But I'm still going to bring you guys great content. And today, we're going to be bringing you guys another Chaos Coaching video. And with that, we're going to be doing it with Salary Cap Team. So... As you can see here, we have pretty much a salary cap team, a couple upgraded linemen here or there, just things around my uh, my binder that I could pick up and throw in there. But for the most part, it's just a salary cap team. We have Vic, not fully powered. Leonard Fournette, not fully powered. We have a couple backups in there as well. As you see, Walter here. We've got Randy, Odell Beckham, Julio Jones, Vernon Davis, uh, Delaney Walker. As you guys can see, I'm not, I'm not going too crazy with upgrading outside of my salary cap. These two... Would obviously be downgraded to actually be Trey Hopkins and Ronnie Hudson. But I had those two, so I figured why not throw them in. We don't really have any linebackers. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it's definitely not much of a team uh, for Mutt. But we're going to take it in there see what we can do with it. Uh, I think it gives you guys even more perspective on how you guys can do quote-unquote scheme over team. Uh, just being able to see me work with a, with a lesser team and have some success with it will give you guys some confidence to do the same. So... If you guys could, really appreciate you guys. If you guys can continue to hit the like button, you guys have been killing it for me, guys. I'm telling you. You guys don't realize how much I really appreciate you guys doing that. So thank you, and I, I would uh, implore you guys can, to continue to do so. But without further ado, we're going to jump into this video. All right, boys. So as always, with the Chaos Coaching Man, I'm going to try to give you guys all of my directions, every reason for why I'm doing what I'm doing. Let you guys know if I think I made a mistake on a certain play here or there. Everything along those lines, I'm going to let you guys know. Put you guys in my head just to let you guys kind of see what I'm thinking throughout a game. I think that's always helpful for people. Um, it's one thing to watch a pro player play, try to copy what they do, try to pick up on their tendencies. And that's helpful too, 100%. I'm not going to deny that. But also just to hear my thought process out loud really is helpful to those that are trying to learn the game and trying to get better. So as always, when you're kicking the ball off, do a sky kick this year when they made that patch for the kickoffs. Sky kicks take pretty much everything if not out of bounds, really close to it. So always sky kick and you'll do fine. <laughs> All right, so just make some subs. Uh, I'm gonna use nickel 335. That's my personnel. Um, put Lawrence here. Always try to get speed, guys. I'm big on speed this year. I feel like speed is like the most important thing on defense. Um, just pretty much in any position. Obviously there's other stats that matter at times, pass rush stats things along those lines but speed's really really key right now put Dion here see I have Dion and Ed Reed my fastest guys at safety and we're good to go coming out in a running formation so I'm gonna man some people up try to make sure I take that away make that tackles I didn't get all my subs quite in I don't want Dion uh Buchanan at my main user spot. Perfect. All right. But yeah, if you see someone coming out in a running form, especially in head-to-head -head seasons and such, just man people up. Something that also does really good against uh, the run is spies. You see, no one's getting burnt. Good job, Dion. Yeah, so you guys can see, I mean, just know where you command people, know who's fastest. That's why at my safety positions, I have 99 speed at both of them. Because if I'm going to be manning up people across the field, they need to be able to keep up with them without getting burnt. Now he's probably going to pass, so I'm not going to do that. Well, I stood in corrected. I don't know why I'm standing in that gap anyways. I wasn't even blitzing. That was my fault. Pick that, pick that. Yo, it clicked me. What? It clicked me onto the safety. Oh my gosh. What? That was good defense. I'm not mad at I'm not mad at that whatsoever. Literally that was perfect defense. It just clicks me onto the wrong guy. I don't I usually put a spy, but I just realized I just recognize that he has Dan Marino as his quarterback. This year I just almost assume everybody has a fast quarterback. But he does not. He has Dan Marino, so I'm not, I'm not going to spy him one time at all, like literally. 
No chance I spy him. He just audible, so he probably just audible into a run play or a PA play. There's the run play. I'm having trouble shooting that gap, but that's what I'm trying to do over there. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Jeez, man. That's my that's my bad D-line kind of taking effect right there, but is what it is. I, I, I read that play perfectly. I just didn't execute. He's doing a lot of running, so I'm going to man my safeties here. Of course he doesn't run. No, don't let him catch that, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. All right. We well, got 7. I'm not going I'm not mad at that. He didn't really show me anything that was like too crazy, too wild where it was like, man, all right, that's going to be some that's tough to stop. Really just got to continue to guess his plays right. Um, I think he's going to run, play the run well. Try to figure out a way to shoot that gap cuz on that inside zone out of uh, out of his gun spread, I wasn't able to shoot the gaps gap successfully at all. So that's going to be tough to stop. But a single back run isn't give me any trouble. So that's not something to worry about. Just making sure I can guess right and, and read them. So we got a lot of looks at a lot of the plays he likes to run as well. So that's something that's always good. On your first possessions, both on offense and defense, so I'm, I'm going to be looking for it a lot here. It's just kind of seeing what your opponent's going to do, see what their run defense is, see, see what they like to do on first down, second down, long down situations, stuff like that. I like to start it off with a run simply because when you take a touchback, you don't you are on a hash and I don't like being uh, you're not on a hash excuse me and I don't uh, like being in the middle of the field a lot of my plays I've set up they work to certain long hash lines so just something to note notice he blitzed me right there so noted that as well a lot of the times you play people in mud they'll just play literally wide nine which is what he's in and then just go coverage or just go literally three with a spy, stuff like that. And he showed that he's not going to do that every time. So definitely something I noted. Now, he was in cover two last time. So I'm going to try to catch him outside if possible. And I did. You saw he had that guy baseline pressed inside. So I was able to pass lead that outside that fade. If anyone ever does that to you, if they baseline press, especially if they show cover two, which is what he showed the play before, just make the read and throw it outside. Literally, they can't stop it. He didn't even touch the safety, so that made it a lot easier. So, free touchdown for me. I'll take it. it ain't no problem right there for me. Uh, we didn't we didn't get to see too much of his defense. He just ran cover two with clouds and then cover two with hard flats. That was really the only two things he ran. But we're okay with that. Get our free seven back and try to get a stop right here. I'm not I'm not worried about offense against this kid. I, I feel confident in my offense. I just got able to get stops on the defensive side of the ball. So. Landed up my safeties. Try not to get burnt. Oh, I don't, I don't like getting stuck on a D-line. That's Yeah, that's scary. See, when you're setting your safeties, it's more of an aggressive defense. Everyone becomes part of the run fit, which is a good thing. It's going to help you stop the run. But if you get stuck on a DT and they get out, it, it can put you in a little bit of trouble. So, don't want to do that. Now, I have a spy out there. I told you guys I wasn't going to spy. I wasn't going to spy Dan Marino, but the spies help with the run fits. And I'm telling you guys that right now. It 100% does. Some of them, I'm not going to. Blitz. There we go. I don't know what that was, but we'll take it. Encroachment? What? Have you guys seen that? I'm on, I'm on regular. I don't know what that was. I don't think I've ever seen that before in my life. What? Not spying him. We're ready for this inside though. We're, we're, so, we're still trying to find this gap shoot area, but all right, yeah, he's locked right here. Throw some silly. Throw some silly. Throw some silly. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Oh my gosh, bro. Might have to start sending pressure at this kid. That's crazy, man. I think I'm going to start playing cover three against him instead of pressure. Not cover two. There's no way he threw that. There's no way he threw that, man. Let's get it. Pick it up. Ah, let's go, man. See, sometimes, guys, sometimes, here's the thing. You can play the best coverage against people that aren't the best players, and they might just dot you up just because they're getting a lot of time in the pocket. And, like, a lot of, like, 
what a lot of people say is anyone can make a read with a lot of time in the pocket. What, what the, the hardest thing to do is make a read when people are right in your face. And uh, so sometimes you just got to send a little heat at them. And that's what we did. And he made a mistake right away. And right there, we get it right back. Come on, man. All right. Now this game really starts to get tricky for him. It's somebody that had, this is a mistake he made. He was having a lot of success with inside zone out of gun spread. A lot of it. Now, he can still go to it. It's only a one-possession game. Don't get me wrong. He, he he doesn't have to get away from it. But something that a lot of people make a mistake of is, oh, man, I'm down. I got to get that touchdown back. I got to get it back right now. And let's start passing. Let's start passing. Don't get away from your game. Stick with the run. If you're being successful now, they're blowing it up every time. Like, okay, start passing now. But, like, I'm not blowing up that run like crazy. I'm not giving him trouble with it. He's having success with it. He should stick with that run and stick with his game plan and make things happen. So, we'll see what he does. But... I, I expect him to start passing the ball more. Bring this guy over. Okay, okay, go to the run. But another the thing about it is that's the wrong one. I actually was doing a good job against the single back runs. I wasn't doing a good job against the inside zone at gun spread. Now, that's not to say that I wasn't going to learn how to stop it, because that's something that I'm rather good at. But I might not have. You gotta make me make me work for it at least. Oh, don't let him fall forward. We're doing a good job on these runs. Other than that fall forward right there, I felt like we had it boxed. See, I'm sending heat. That's all heat right there. I'm sending five with hard flats and three people manned up. Oh, we're on that. No, don't give him a free touchdown, please. Please don't give him a free touchdown. Oh my gosh, man. So everything I said to you guys about him kind of feeling a little pressure, a little rush, maybe getting out of his game plan a little bit, that all goes away because he just got a free touchdown. Man, bro, he was about to be in a fourth and one. Ah, that hurts. That hurts. All right. Well, good play by him, I presume. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mad at it. Something I've noticed, he hasn't came out of cover two from his wide nine yet. He's played cover two with clouds the first time, and the next two times he's played cover two hard flats. So he better he better change it up a little bit. I'm just going to pick this cover two apart every play. I'm on a hash, so I'm going to run the ball. I mean, excuse me, I'm not on a hash, so I'm going to run the ball. Come on. Julio's one of the best run blockers in this game. He got insta shutter right there. All right, as you guys, you guys see it. He went to cover three. I think he's going to stay in cover three here. Now, that's something of luxury that I don't have to actually have in salary cap. Because they're not going to show me the previous play. So I wouldn't have known what he was in after, if I ran the ball. If I passed the ball, yes, I could clearly see what he was in because I just read the coverage. But luxury you have him what? So take advantage of it. And right there. I have a cover three beater. Um, I could have waited on it probably, but he did blitz, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to wait too long on it. Just take my wide open read. I don't mind that. It's something he's doing that I don't see a lot of people do. Is blitz like when they when they're not the best of players, they don't blitz a lot. They usually just like to play coverage and let their guys shed, but which is probably what he should do. Oh my gosh! What? That looked like it got right over it. Mm, that's a bad read. Oh, wow. Maybe that was because it was a seam flat. I don't know. That that looked to me like it dropped down. That's a mistake by me. Bad mistake, really, but it's okay. I'm not, I'm not too mad at it, but it does suck, though. <laughs> yeah, we're on that. It's fine. He's not going to have success continuously running the ball unless he just breaks a lot of tackles, which, which he might, but... I don't expect him to. Just man up the team. No, man. All right. Good tackle. See, we're, we're going to be fine against the run. We're, we, our guys are there. If they make the tackle, we're good. If they don't, fine. But third and 11, he's going to have to pass the ball here. He's liking these posts, so he's going to go to gun spread. I'm going to go to cover three. I'm just going to use the spy. This, this should lock him right up, honestly. He's going to run something with a post. If he runs PA deep attack or anything that he's had success with earlier, it's not going to work. So, I 
pass commit. Pass commit, I feel like it helps my shed, so I pass commit sometimes. Nope, nope, nope. I told you I wasn't going to work. Get out, boy. Get out, boy. Oh. Oh. All right, we'll take it. We got to stop back. I'm telling you guys, man, my team's not good, so he's getting some fluky things. He is, but... If you have the better scheme and you can outplay them, you will win a lot of the time. I'm not going to tell you guys you win every time against if you're the better player. I'm, I'm not going to say that because this is not true. But you'll win a lot of the time. You really will. Uh-oh. 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 He done gave it to... Oh, I don't like to do that. Ah. I'm, I'm I'm stunting for this video. Let me chill. Let me chill. I don't like the, I don't like the showboat. I don't. I don't. I don't like it at all. Uh, it makes me feel bad. It's not cool to rub it in. And I don't like when people do it to me. So I'm sorry, Dark Hollywood. My bad, brother. I don't like to do that. If you guys like one of those showboat types, that's cool. I'm not going to hate you for it. But that's not my, it's not my style. So wind must have changed up. I don't know how that kick stayed so far in bounds. But don't let him kick. Don't let him kick return, please. All right. Come on. One more stop. This game will probably be over with. When he passes the ball, he likes to go to... He likes to go to those deep posts, and they just, they're just they not open against cover three. So I'm going to stay in cover three. We're out there on that. We're out there on that. Strafe up. All right, that's cool. We'll give him six. Our guys are not getting off no blocks either. That's the thing. Our guys are not block shitting at all. They're so bad. Our outside corners are bad. It's physical NTL and Marcus May. So they're not going to... They're not going to make many plays for me. That's cool, though. Oh, I, I'm going to go cover three. I'm telling you. Th this is what he gets. Until he shows me he can he can beat it, this is what he gets. Mm, he went back to it. Let's go. Good hit, boy. See, he should have been going back to that, though. That was a mistake by him. Oh, no. Timeout. The first half, guys, so listen. If you have a play that you don't like... Like on defense, and it's a huge play, which is this third and five is like a big part of this game. Go ahead and call timeout. Get your get your right play in, and and live to fight another down. Because there's no reason that you should have the wrong play on the field in this big third down that can change the entire game. If we get a stop here, we're gonna win. And if he gets it, he stays in the game. So he went to what we thought he was gonna go to. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it, man. Come on. Let's go. Told you we were going to be on that, guys. He, I don't know what he can do with cover three when he passes the ball. I want to be in cover two when, when they're running because I like the run fits and the clouds on the outsides without having to man them up or do anything. I just have to man my safeties. But I do like when uh, he's passing the ball to go to cover three. I feel like he doesn't have anything for it. Send a little heat right there. That's okay. We're on it. Just make quick reads, man. Just take your underneath stuff. When you feel like they're shedding, you feel like they're sending a blitz, and you have something open, do not wait on it, guys. That's something I can really implore you guys to do. Don't wait on your reads. Just just take Like, unless you know they're not going to shed or something, just take your open passes. Now, this is the end of the half. It's my ball at half. There's no way I should walk away with anything less than three. I have to get at least three here. So I'm just going to run the clock down. If I take three, that's okay, especially because I feel confident I'm going to win the game. Take my wheel right here, and that's fine. Just let the clock keep moving. I'm not gonna super clock myself. I'm gonna give myself a chance at seven. Definitely give myself a chance at it, but I am 100% cool with three. The 17 yard line, I can fit that pass in. I would outside fade here, but I think he's in cover three, not cover two, so I'm not gonna try. I was wrong. Oh my gosh, they just really got after me. I call time out here to give myself a chance at the first down, but I was just bad pocket. <laughs> but I don't mind. That's cool. I don't. I don't, I really don't mind giving, like taking three here. Like I said, you just gotta make sure you go off the two possessions, and then for the second half, you're good to go. That was a bad play call. I don't, I don't like my play call. Okay, let's just go. I know. I, I know I don't have a good kicker because of salary cap, so I can't take a huge sack here. Ooh, we got him. I love that play. I love that play. Now that gives me, like, two shots at the end zone. I love that play. That's a really, really good play that I've started using a lot. Uh, and it's, it's just, it makes sense, so I feel like it'll be good. 
in the future too. Like I feel like next year it could be really good still. I don't think it'll be bad. So I have two different plays that I want to go to here. And we'll we'll just try two ags. We have 99 Julio, so he can definitely go get it. He can definitely go get it. Oh, Julio. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, so he dropped that one. Now we'll go to we'll try Randy one time. Don't want to get too crispy here. You don't want to make any bad reads. It's, it's, like I said, you don't want to make a mistake right here. This is a, this is a spot where you 100% just are cool with um, taking three. So don't don't throw anything stupid. Oh yeah, but throw something wide open. <laughs> All right, take your three here. Don't mess around with the clock. Take your three. Move on to the next half. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, it's the second half, but he's going to... Oh my gosh, I, I didn't get the audible in. Don't let him get this, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, bro. I was not paying attention. Always pay attention to what people are doing. They might onside kick you out of nowhere. Gosh dang, dude. <laughs> All right, well, start the second half. What I was going to say to you guys at the beginning of the kickoff was just try to make sure you get points in this first session. You can take clock. Um, just but getting points is definitely the most important thing and uh, just making sure you put this game on ice and finish it off because you played a good first half now he's been going to cover three so this is why I call this play right here this was a perfect play call and here's why he had been calling cover two or if he ever called cover three he was blitzing his curl flat so I knew he wasn't gonna have a. He was either not gonna have a flat out there at all, and I was gonna get my easy out route for free yards. Or if he was in cover two, then I would just have my out route or my corner route, whichever. If he played hard flats or cloud flats, so it was an easy read for me, and I knew that that play was gonna work. That's what the <laughs> hit him with the fake spin. Now what I just did right there, I call it the fake spin. This especially late in the year, people are used to the spin. Uh, bad players early on, they would fall for the spin every single time, just run right at you. B spin them, good to go. But now it's late in the year, they're ready for it. So they're going to either strafe up or pull back. And sometimes you can just run and just keep on moving for free yards. And that's what I did right there. I probably picked up 10 to 12 extra yards just off sitting there and letting him make the wrong read on whether or not I was going to spin. So that's why I did that. And I call it the fake spin. I think it's fire. We're in a good spot here. I really don't feel like he can stop the run that well. But Fournette's tired. I'm going to go to my red zone play that I had success with but i dropped it 10 and a half i'm gonna go right back here to moss and i think i'm gonna catch it so i felt like it was wide open before yes sir yes sir if something listen guys i i, I can't i can't stress this enough if something works early in the game go back to it like if you think something's gonna work and he's gonna play a certain coverage and he's gonna give you a certain look and that play is going to work well against it and it showed that it would go back to it even if i dro like i dropped that pass in the end of the second half probably should have caught it but i knew he would leave it open again and give me another chance at it and if he didn't then i would have another read on the play that if he took that away i would have so i just felt confident in that play and that's something i was able to go back to and i think you guys should obviously do the same this is pretty much the game right here if i get a stop this game's over Looks like he's going to stay in his running formations, which I find a bit odd just because I feel like he really needs to pass now. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, play action. I like that. We're getting after him. Now, see, guys, this guy, obviously, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie to you and say this guy was the best player in the world. I'm not going to lie. But this guy was having success early, and you can let games get away. When you're playing players like this in this game, I know you guys, every single person in this chat, every single person in this comment section, you guys will tell me you've lost to a guy that you felt you were better than. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I know you guys have played someone you think you're better than, and you lost. You can let games get away. I let him have a huge run to go up, and I let him have, uh, I let him break two easy touchdowns where it was like, man, I, I really could have won this game easily. Like this game was cooked, and I let it get away from me. You can let those things happen. So just playing, playing the right way, being smart, and making the right decisions, knowing when to blitz a guy that you don't think can make a great read against you, and knowing when, uh, knowing when to play coverage and what, what coverages to mix in. So like I went from cover two to cover three, and I told you guys why I switched because I just felt like with the place he wanted to run, he was gonna want to, the cover three was gonna give him a bad look. Cover two, he wanted to run a bunch of deep posts. 
Cover three is not going to give that up at all. Literally, like not even a little bit. So that's something I really think you guys just need to make sure you guys lock in on. Even if the player is a little bit better than that kid, I think that if you guys focus in on what the opponent's doing, what's going to stop it, and knowing when to mix things in and change it up and not just give the person the same exact look, whether or not, even if it's not working, that'll make things a lot better for you guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section and let me know what I can do better. Let me know what I can change to help make this more helpful for you guys. I do these videos to help you guys get better. I feel like they're important and I'm going to continue to do them into Madden 20. But if I could change anything up and make it better for you guys, by all means, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Peace.